It isn't true, is it? It can't be. I mean, people have talked about it for years. The city of the future, with helicopters dropping about from building to building, but it is true. It's happening to me now in that helicopter, slashing in from Kennedy Airport to downtown Manhattan, New York, and we're gonna land on top of one of those buildings down there. Well, that's what the man said. I wonder which one. There's never enough room, is there? Still, he knows what he's doing, I suppose. He hasn't bumped into anything yet. <laughs> this is pretty close, though. That's the Chrysler building, I believe. And now he's found somewhere to settle. Yes, that's a good flat roof, but for goodness sake, do be careful. Look, do shut up. All right, I'll be quiet. Easy. All that fuss about nothing. This is the 20th century, you know. I know, but I feel just like Grandpa when he had his first ride in the horseless carriage. Aren't they going to stop the engines? No. But I'll get my head knocked off by the windmills. You won't. Well, they're only just missing me. Look, you see? Ooh. Ooh. Bag of nerves. Now, there's one thing that you must do one afternoon in New York, so I'm told, and that is take a subway train out to Coney Island. It takes about an hour to get out to Coney Island, and once you get away from Manhattan Island, the scenery takes on that suburban look that we know so well. And here we are, at the famous Coney Island. This is where so many breathtaking, hilarious, rib-tickling films were made. This is where the lovely and the handsome met and fell in love. So come on, don't waste time. Get ready for your moment of exotic delirium. Yeah, well, things are a bit slack this afternoon, what with one thing and the other. What's that say? Welcome to Coney Island. In the event of an air raid alert, remember you are not in a target area. Now, where do we begin? Well, we'll have fun on the boardwalk. You must be a bit careful, though. They don't like persons in bathing suits, dogs, peddling, advertising, littering, bicycles, tricycles, and roller skates. Oh, well, a short, sharp stroll will be very welcome, but there's nobody about. Well, hardly anyone. Just a few statues of the gods of Whoopi Land. Have fun. Come on, boys, you can't resist that temptation. That's right, have fun. Yeah, but we're too late. The season has come to an end. Strange for this once popular place to be so deserted. It's a beautiful day, and it's only the first week in October, but the great scream machines are still. Not one tiny little peep coming from the giant screech maker. Ah, well, there's plenty of room to move about. Yeah, but it's a sad old place now, Coney Island. There's a smell of poverty in the air. The ramshackle is getting more and more dilapidated. The nails are sticking up in the boardwalk. Yeah, that's the third time I've tripped over these goddamn nails today. Goddamn nails, goddamn nails, goddamn. Look at that. US government inspected frankfurters. Cook's baths. Cook's ocean bathing, 75 cents, one in a room, 60 cents, two in a room. Mm, cheap at double the price. I wonder what the bathing is like here. I don't suppose that there is anyone in, is there, having a dip? No, just four elderly ladies having a flutter, playing cards on the sands, I say, all alone in the Sahara Desert, playing cards. And tomorrow, we must have a look at Fifth Avenue, starting at St. Patrick's Cathedral. St. Patrick's Cathedral is not all that old, but it's quite unique. It's the only building hereabouts with any decoration on it. I wonder how it managed to survive in this square, severe world. We don't believe in decoration anymore. What is to become of us? If you should die today, where will you spend eternity? Where indeed? There are certainly enough cenotaphs around to remember us by. erected to the memory of those who gave their lives from nine to five. 
They make you feel a proper little ant to these great cenotaphs. That's the place to be up there in that old chopper. Central Park occupies quite a large area of Manhattan Island, and you get some idea of the solidity of the place when you come across some of these rocky outcrops. This is the stuff to build skyscrapers on, guaranteed non-sink solid rock. Not many people about this afternoon, although the fall hasn't really started a fall yet. But it's not worth switching the fountains on with no one to watch. And it's not worth putting the chairs out with no one to sit. Well, just two young mothers in the autumn sunshine watching their offspring. You'd hardly think that this reasonable and beautiful park was such a dangerous place. It's perfectly all right now when it's daylight, but after sundown, it's dangerous. What's that? I said it's dangerous. Oh, did you? Yeah, you know it is, don't you? Yeah. So don't stay after dark, get going. Yeah, I always nip up this tree. Yes, you know what happens, don't you? But I'm not saying. Go on, you've seen them, haven't you? The backstabbers and the head bashers and the face slashers. They get in here after dark, don't they? I don't know. I'm not saying. Look out. Oh, who goes there? Friend or foe? Friend. Pass friend. Ah, now that's more comforting. Glad to see them, a couple of nicely mounted horse coppers. Very comforting. What's that? Men's and women's comfort stations, I don't believe it. Must be nice to be a comfort station master. There we are, there's the Statue of Liberty. So let's have a look through the automatic binoculars. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. What do you want me to know? Keep a good look out. Where? Over there? No, no, no. Oh, it's no good. I can never see anything through these things. We'll have to go over and get close to it. That's better. The Statue of Liberty. A gift from the people of France to the people of America. And now I will find out something that I've wanted to know for years. Can you go up inside it? Yes, you can. This is the tremendous cranium of the Statue of Liberty. You see, as well as being a statue, it's quite a skillful bit of engineering. The engineer was quite a skillful man, and Mr. Eiffel, who designed the Eiffel Tower. She's quite high up here, over 300 feet. And these windows form a part of the diadem that crowns liberty. The sculptor designer, in case you're interested, and hardly anybody is, was a Mr. Bartholdi, and the whole thing is made from sheet copper. It's a hollow copper pot. I'm looking out of a tremendous copper pot. Now, if we're up in the crown of liberty, where's her right arm and torch? Well, it should be up there somewhere, shouldn't it? Oh, yes, I can just see the bottom of her torch and her hand. Yeah. Look out, here comes one of those choppers. They fly around liberty all day long. And there she has stood since 1886, saying, hail and farewell. I know that voice. Yes. There she goes. That's a good girl. You make those old skyscrapers stand to attention when you go by, don't you?